We've kept you updated on all the damage and recovery efforts from the tornado back in April. Fox 14's Maya Hudgens is back from Jackson Parish to tell us about a recovery just in time for the 4th of July. Maya? Sarah, the Jimmy Davis State Park has decided to reopen with a big bang this 4th of July. After working for months, certain parts of the park will officially be in operation. The tornado in April did massive damage to the state park, uprooting many trees, destroying buildings, campgrounds, utility lines, and even picnic tables and grills. But within weeks after, parts were cleaned up. First thing we were able to open up was our north boat launch so that our skiers, fishermen could still get out and enjoy Caney Lake. In addition, the group camp opened and has already been booked for the next couple of months. However, the big question remained, would there be a 4th of July celebration? Generations of families have spent 4th of July at our beach. It's been a very popular attraction for decades now. With the help from many, you can expect a day at the beach. On top of our beach, our splash pad is operational for the kids to run and play in and cool off on. Uh, we have picnic tables. We have grills set up. At 10, there will also be a boat parade put on by the local marina and at 9 p.m., a fireworks show off the spillway. Which will be just down from our beach and people can launch their boats, go out there and enjoy an evening watching fireworks. Those who have played a role behind the scenes are ready to see the excitement in the community. Everybody from the park staff all the way up to the Office of State Parks in Baton Rouge and Lieutenant Governor have been waiting for this day to happen. Because a park without customers is just kind of a sad place to be. It's supposed to be people at your place. In the past, Jimmy Davis State Park has averaged around 2,000 people on the 4th of July. There are hopes for the same turnout. Since it's kind of our grand reopening, uh, we know things are different, and it's going to be different than anybody's ever seen before, but we're making it better and better every day. The campgrounds, cabins, lodges, and the south boat launch are still closed. The beach will open at 8 a.m. on Thursday and will close at 8 p.m. The park will remain open into this weekend. In the studio, Maya Hudgens, Fox 14 News.